Personal flotation devices, also known as life jackets, are essential for water safety. When choosing a PFD, make sure that it meets the following criteria. It's suitable for the type of boating location and activity. It fits you correctly and has sufficient buoyancy to keep you afloat in the water. It's approved by the U.S. Coast Guard. The U.S. Coast Guard categorizes PFDs into five types, each with its unique purpose. Let's look at each of them in more detail. Type 1 PFDs, or offshore life jackets, are the most buoyant and suitable for rough, open waters where you might be waiting for the rescue. They provide 22 pounds of buoyancy for adults and 11 pounds for children. The big advantage of Type 1 PFD is, they can turn most unconscious wearers face up in the water. This is the symbol on which you can always indicate this functionality on the life jacket. It is also the only type approved for most commercial activities, like chartering. The disadvantage is that they are bulky and less comfortable to wear. Examples of Type 1 PFD are typical offshore life jackets. Type 2 PFDs, also known as near-shore buoyancy vests, are designed for calm, inland waters where quick rescue is expected. Depending on size, they provide 15.5 pounds of buoyancy for adults and 7 to 11 pounds for children, which means less buoyancy than Type 1. But this is still enough to keep the person afloat. The big advantage of Type 2 PFD is that they are less bulky and more comfortable than Type 1. The disadvantage is that they cannot turn unconscious wearers face up in the water. They are also less effective than Type 1 PFD because of less buoyancy. Type 3 PFDs, also called flotation aids, are the most comfortable and made for calm inland waters with a good chance for a quick rescue. The manually activated inflatable life jackets approved by the Coast Guard are classified as Type 3 PFDs. Certain Type 3 PFDs can inflate automatically when you fall into the water. Although boaters are not obliged to wear them for the duration of their trip, they must keep at least one per person on board. Type 3 PFDs provide 15.5 pounds of buoyancy for adults and 11 pounds for children, which is the same as Type 2. The life jacket of Type 3 provides the most comfort during extended activities such as fishing, water skiing, canoeing, kayaking and during personal watercraft operation, which is typically worn constantly. However, a disadvantage is, the wearer may need to tilt their head back to remain face up in the water. So, this type of PFD will not turn an unconscious wearer face up in the water. Examples of Type 3 PFDs are float coats, fishing vests, and water sports vests. Type 4 PFDs are throwable devices, such as life rings, buoyant cushions, or horseshoe buoys, meant to be thrown at someone in the water. These PFDs are supposed to be thrown to a person who may have fallen overboard and are held while waiting for the rescue. They can provide 16.5 pounds of buoyancy, but they are not intended to be worn. Boats that are 16 feet or longer, except kayaks and canoes, must have a Type 4 throwable flotation device immediately available for use in the necessary life jackets, as mentioned before. Keep in mind, Type 4 PFD may not provide enough buoyancy for weaker swimmers. Type 5 PFDs or special use devices are specialized devices for various activities, such as kayaking, windsurfing, or riding a personal watercraft, PWC. They offer more flexibility and range of motion than other types. Type 5 PFDs are designed for specific situations, for example, they can help protect against hypothermia in cold water. They must be used according to specific instructions on its label and can provide a range of buoyancy levels. Hybrid inflatable PFDs of Type 5 are less bulky and must be worn at all times. Examples of Type 5 PFD are fishing vests, deck suits, work vests, and board sailing vests. Remember, regardless of which PFD type you use, ensure it fits well and is worn correctly each time you participate in water activities.